It's Exodus Gaming here, and today we are going to be doing updated collisions. Um, we're going to start off with two actives, so one and two. Click into one of them and make it just any colour you want. The other ones can be any colour you want again. Mine are going to be orange and green. Now, to do that, just double click on the active, double click on the frame to get a new object. Uh, like that, yeah. So. I'm going to rename the green one character and I'm going to rename the orange one floor. This tutorial is going to be very quick because I'm presuming you know how to do this stuff. If you don't, check out my other tutorials, lots of it has been covered. Now we're going to go character and go to his movement under properties and change it to be platform. And then we're going to come up here. This is something I've not done, I don't think. Go where well, you have your top bar, go down a bar, see so on your second bar down, and you'll see like a pencil drawing a line, it's paint mode. Click on it, and then click floor or floor here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna line it up with your mouse next to the one and click. But don't just single click, hold it. And it, you can drag around like this, and this will draw your floor for you. Um, so it don't worry about mistakes. Once you've done made your floor, just click paint mode off again, and then delete any mistakes you made. And that is your floor. But over here, you'll notice we only still have one active. That's because all of these are the same. They're all called floor. Now this is gonna be the good bit. We're gonna go to the event editor, do new the event editor, and do new condition character collisions another object floor and change the character's movement to be stopped. So go into character, go movement, stop. And then do new condition. Uh, mouse, the the mouse, user clicks on an object. Single click, floor. Destroy. Now you probably think, what's the use in this? This is just going to mean that it once, when he clicks it, it's going to destroy them and we're just going to fall through the frame. Well, no, it's just going to destroy one like that. So now we can slot into this like that and now we are part of the floor. Just one thing I would do before you actually run it is go to your character, go to his movement and set his strength, his drum strength to 100 because otherwise, did that do it? Yeah. Otherwise you're not going to be able to jump out the hole you dig. So now we can dig on any block that you click like this we can slot into them if we are very precise like this we can jump out if we dig a staircase we can actually you can jump two blocks because the jumps very powerful um, so yeah there you go that's updated collisions now we don't need that's all we need two active two actives painted different colors one with platform movement and then a little bit of stuff in the event editor and you've got yourself a digging game now if you want a more advanced tutorial how to stop us, say if I come right over here, if you want a tutorial to say you only want to be able to dig in that sort of radius circle there, that like around these blocks that I've dug out here, then I can do that. But for now you'll be able to dig like my, like as far as the screen can see. So and yes you can dig them all out and which I'll do really quickly. So if that, that, that clicking is really loud and we're left with one block and if we dig it, yes, we fall off the frame. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you want more advanced tutorial, just request one in the description and I will see you next time. Bye.